before we were talking about how you should always remember to save images that have a color palette that, that you like, uh, because sometimes you can use these as color references for later projects. So what I'm going to do now is show you how to create a color palette from an image for potential use in your e-card. And we'll be creating this color palette using Adobe's online and free color selection ap application, Adobe Color CC. So first, find an image that you like, that you think has a color palette that, that might be suitable for your e-card. Okay, so now you should have found an image that you want to create a color palette from. And uh, once you've found that, just go to the website color.adobe.com, which again is uh, Adobe's um, free color application that you can work with. And the way that you'll pull a color palette from your image is you'll upload your image to this website. And you do that by clicking this little camera icon in the top right corner. Click that, okay. And because, uh, like I've mentioned, I'm using the Revolution Decoded report and website as my um, aesthetic inspiration for the e-card, I'll be pulling my colors from an image from the report. Okay, and so, this is the, the graphic that I was using for my report earlier. And once you upload the image, it automatically will start to look for color palettes from that image for you. And it will display them down below for you here. Now, my colors are um, quite simple. So it's um, it means I can't totally use, uh, like, well, I can't benefit from all of these different tools here. But if you have a photo, you can click on um, these different color themes, and the program will pick out different color palettes that it thinks suits a brighter palette or a, a more muted palette just from your photo. So you can play around with this to discover interesting color palettes that way. Okay, so I'm happy with these colors here, and that's what I'll use in my e-card. So the way that I will save them so I can use them in Google Drawings is go back over to the right and click on the color wheel, and it'll bring you back to this main page. Then I've got my color palette here, and if you look down at the bottom, you'll see all of these different color values, like some of which... Um, we've discussed during this course. And there's a little arrow here, but you can just click on it and see more options if you choose. But really, uh, the colors that you'll want to use for Google Drawings is, um, what's the, the hex value right here? So from this color palette, the colors that you want to use, just make a note of the color um, of the hex value and you'll use that in Google Drawings. Also, if you just want to experiment a little bit more, um, you can select each one of these colors and pull these little sliders to adjust the colors to fine tune the color palette that you're working with. And again, the new values will always be updated down below. Or you can just pull this as well these around to get new colors. One final thing, um, Adobe is often considered an industry standard for programs for graphic designers. So if you happen to be using Adobe programs, you can work and create color palettes in this online application and then download color palettes that you can use directly in those programs as well.